Hi, I'm Jen Hadfield from Tater Tots and Jello, and I'm also a designer with American Crafts and Pebbles. And today I'm so excited to be here at scrapbook.com to show you my newest line, Chasing Adventures. And Chasing Adventures is all about going on adventures with your family and people that you love. And it can be in your backyard, it can be in Japan, wherever you are, creating memories and recording them. And today I'm gonna to show you something I'm really passionate about. I love making banners. And banners, I make them for any kind of occasion. I make them for my mantle for every holiday. I make them to go over my doorway, my front door. I make them for parties. Um, they're just so easy to make. And paper banners is kind of my passion. So I'm gonna show you some different ways to make some banners. And I think that you're gonna love it. So. Um, one of the ways that you can make banners is I have a couple papers in my line that have squares that have sayings on them. So there's a paper that has smaller sayings and then there's a paper that has larger sayings. And all you do is you cut out all of those squares and you can either punch them and then string it through with um, like baker's twine or ribbon. Or my favorite thing to do is to just sew all of the paper together and it's actually so easy to do. You don't have to be a good sewer to do it. You just sew all of the papers together. But if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't feel comfortable doing that, just punch it out or you can either or you can even just add adhesive to the back of the paper and then just add your baker's twine or your ribbon. So I'm going to show you a couple different banners that I've made. Um, this is from the smaller paper right here. And it has just really cute sayings and images on them that are so adorable. They're great for all kinds of different occasions. This is a banner that you could actually just keep up all year round and it would be so cute over a shelf or on your mantle or something like that, even in your bedroom, in your kids' rooms. So some of the things that I love that this banner says are there's a thank you that's kind of on a wood background. There's llamas in this line that are so cute. So it says, be yourself, which I love. There's a thanks with some adorable flowers. There's a hi with a little wreath around it. There's bikes in this line. There's all kinds of different transportation things. So if you have a little boy, you could do a banner with the airplanes and with the little trees or maps or girls, adventurous girls. Um, there's lots of different things that you could use. Um, a couple other things that are on this paper that I love is this cake stand right here. So this would be so cute in your kitchen. You could add different papers to it. Um, you Are Cherry Sweet is just really adorable. So the larger paper also has really adorable things on it that I wanted to point out. Like there's also the llama. So the, the big llama and the small llama together would be so cute. The big llama says, hello, friend. Um, there's lots of beautiful florals in this line with sentiments like feel beautiful today. This, another cake, and this one says, let them eat cake. You are good enough. Every moment matters. Love yourself more. Now is the new later. I love that. Um, believe in yourself. You can totally do this. And girl time, I don't know if you can see this um, teapot, but it has florals in it and it's just so cute. So um, another banner that I've made that I think is really cute is this paper airplane banner. And that is just something that's a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to make one of the paper airplanes in a minute. But first, I'm going to show you a really easy way to make banners. I have a little tool out. Um, it's called the Banner Punch Board. And it's really cool because it lets you make banners in all different sizes and it's foolproof. It's so easy to use. You can make them in three different um, shapes. So there's the banner that's the triangle banner that you're used to, but then there's also a banner with two points and then there's a banner that comes down to a point like this. Um, and it's so easy to use. It comes with a cutter right here and you just put the cutter in the grooves and you can measure your paper. There's like 32 different sizes you can make with it. So it just makes making banners so easy. Um, and everything that you need to make the banner is in this punch board. This lives here. It has a little spot, but it comes out. And then it also has a hole punch at the top, which is like the coolest thing ever because 
all you have to do is cut your banner out and add your holes to it and then just run your string through. So this is like the easiest way to use it. You're going to use it like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times because who doesn't love a banner, right? I love to like, I'll make banners in like four different sizes and layer them on my mantle and it looks so good. And it's so fun to use paper because you can make it in any color you want for any kind of occasion. And I just store all of my banners after I'm done. I just fold them up, put them in a little tote, take them out whenever it's Christmas, add some more banners. I made this really cute banner that is three-dimensional trees on my mantle um, this year. And it's actually going to be in a magazine because people liked it so much. So um, it's just my most favorite way to use paper probably. So now I'm going to show you how to make these paper airplane banners. It's really, I like them because they're three-dimensional. So what you're going to do is you you can make it in any size that you want. So this one I made and it's a six by three. So six inches by three inches. Then you fold it in half like this. Okay. Then you know how to make a paper airplane. So you fold it in half again. So I guess this is in quarters actually. So fold it like that. And then you're going to fold it one more time to the center. Like this. And then like this. And then all you have to do is just add a little bit of adhesive or you can staple it, which holds it too. So you just add your adhesive. Add the flap like that, add adhesive to the next side, and you've got yourself a little paper airplane. Just looks just like that. And then all you have to do is run a little bit of your adhesive through the middle and add your twine or ribbon or whatever you're going to use to string it up. And you've got a really adorable, cute banner that you can use for your kid's room or um, for spring, it would be so cute for spring. So anyways, I hope you make a lot of banners and check out my paper line, Chasing Adventures at scrapbook.com. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.